So apparently, ticket sales for Crawford Madrimo are not so good. Not so good. Crawford, as good as he is, doesn't sell. Shout out to all the true haters out there telling me that, me telling you the truth, right? Because you can't contest anything that I'm saying as false. You just get into your feelings like a bunch of girls. You, whom I block and unblock like two to five times a year or something like that. And I've done it enough with a handful of you to instantly recognize you when you show up. Because it's always the same fucking hateful comment. And never, ever, ever any kind of props. Not once. So you definitely experts on hating. Let's just keep that real. And how fucking pathetic do you have to be to sit there? Because you don't know if you blocked or not. To sit there for months. Leaving, at least you think you are, comments on my videos. And then I unblock you and the next day you're still there. You fucking losers. <laughs> anyway. If, if you got a problem with hating, yeah? Lead by example. And telling the truth, I mean, in what world is that hating? You should be upset with all the motherfuckers lying to you. Calling Terrence Crawford pound for pound number one. On what list? The pro-American biased lists. The only two that matter, I guess. Have them as number three. And the one that's associated with him, right? ESPN got him at number two. So he's not pound for pound number one, by any means. If you think he is, then you have to add, in order to be honest, after you suck his dick, in my opinion, quote unquote, in my opinion, or in the opinion of biased pro-American fans, or Terrence Crawford nut huggers, you know, that would be honest. And how the fuck does ESPN have him above Inua, who's done... One division more what Crawford has done with true legitimate legends on his record. And in half as many fights, two or three times as quickly as he has, while still in his prime. How the fuck is Crawford above that guy? Fighting once a year for the last four or five years, while Inoue is manages to squeeze up to three fights per year. Huh? Man, you got to make up some special kind of criteria to have Crawford above Inoue on any list. Pound for pound number one. What list? The Omaha Daily? Okay. So, I'm not saying that Crawford should be someone else other than himself. I'm not saying that it's not okay what he's doing, the way he is, the way he projects himself. I'm not, I'm not saying any of that. I am criticizing him because he and his fangirls have always complained that he's not being promoted properly by oh, Bob Arum, right? And I've told you why it's difficult to promote him. The guy is very difficult to promote. So he's, he's over here dissing straight up dissing all promoters right that's a great way to promote yourself just diss promoters dissing fans right but sneak dissing by saying everywhere i go new york la doesn't matter i see posters with me and madrimov on them right throwing a a jab at bob aaron for quote-unquote not promoting him correctly right I mean, Turkey Al Al Sheikh has spent so much money on that commercial, and I'm sure it's everywhere. And it's a good one. Apparently, he's putting posters up everywhere. I mean, you look at this production here. They're, they're promoting the fuck of Terrence Crawford, right? I mean, there's more nut-hugging reporters, people with camera cell phones over there, than there's actual fans. They're working so hard to promote him, putting an amazing, very good 
competitive. That's the most important thing, right? Competitive undercard with a budding superstar like Pitbull Cruz, right? In fucking LA. Now, I get it. Um, Tim Zhu and Virgil... Now, I get it. Tim Zhu and Virgil Ortiz falling out has put a damper on the promotion a little bit or for the fans, no doubt about it. I mean, there's probably heaps of Australians in L.A., Minogo Russians, and definitely Muchisimo Mexicans, right? So that would have definitely helped. But even still, the card's nice. And all the fights are competitive, at least the top four or whatever have you. And the ticket sales are still poor, right? So so that which you fangirls wanted done with Crawford, for him to be promoted, even, even Eddie Hearn, who's not his promoter, is promoting, the, right? You got the best promoter in the game. Sucking Terrence off and his own fighter. Something you said Bob Arum should have been doing. Somehow when he was comparing him to Hearns or Hagler or whatever it was, right? That's, I guess that wasn't enough. They're promoting the fuck out of this dude. And, you know, he shows up on his little, I don't know what you want to call it, presidential parade, <laughs> right? And I'm not asking him to be Marilyn Monroe, but if you're going to complain about not being promoted properly, you got to take a look at yourself. And Terrence Crawford has made an effort. I get it. He's made an effort. Because like I've mentioned, I've never seen him give this many interviews throughout his entire career as he has going into this fight. But even as he's doing these interviews, he shows up in bed in his pajamas Sounding like that fucking the zone narrator for this fight. <laughs> low energy. Very, very low verbal IQ. Poor grammar. Makes up words. I mean, he hasn't taken the time to develop himself and or his skills as a public figure. You know what I mean? Like, all of that would help. Sean Porter's asking him a question. He's squaring up like he's about to punch him in the fucking face. In Insofar as, you know, promoting yourself or appealing to the public, this guy is about as fucking appealing as herpes. He's over there on his presidential parade, right? Just like a fucking bum in some oversized sweats, slouching, hands digging in his fucking junk or whatever the fuck he is. I mean, you know, smile and wave, maybe. I'm just saying, maybe. Somebody yells at him something, like trying to get his attention. His first reaction is like, I'm going to pop you in your mouth. I'm going to pop you in your motherfucking mouth. That's how he reacts, right? And then he realizes it's a lady who's just, you know, giving them props. As if begrudgingly, he lifts his hand and gives it the back of the hand, right? That's a nice little wave there. I'm not sure that that's a fake smile or maybe just the sun is in his eyes. I don't know. But he just looks like a fucking... Straight up, like, he just looks like a fucking crackhead. Who, you know, I don't know. He's got a fucking handout from somebody. And he's still mad. You know what I mean? Like, look, I'm not telling Terrence Crawford to be anything. I I'm just saying, if you want... If, if you're going to blame fans, promoters, and everybody around you for you not being promoted well, I mean, you have to look... You need some fucking introspection 
my dude. Right? You don't you're you're in charge. You're responsible, right? You're your own boss, apparently. It all starts with you. Promoting you starts with guess who? These people are sucking your dick hard. They're doing all these things you've always asked for them to do. And you're still not selling. You're still not selling. And, you know, fighting once a year in these dud fights doesn't help. That's that's another big problem with Terrence Crawford. He's not actually an exciting fighter. There's exciting moments in his fights, but he's not an exciting fighter. And, well, he doesn't fight enough. And his last fight turned out to be a massive disappointment. Massive disappointment. Now, I, I know all the PBC haters and Crawford nut huggers, yeah, they celebrated. I get that. But you guys are quote unquote hardcore, whether it be nut huggers or haters, you're hardcore. Casuals don't give a shit about any of that. They just want to see a good-ass fight. And it wasn't a good fight. Errol Spence looked like garbage in that fight. He couldn't take a punch. He was weight-drained. He was drug-drained. Fucking Victor Conte was chasing his ass all over the internet, shaming him into taking that VADA testing. And then... And then afterwards, he, he made up some kind of excuse for Spence. Like, oh, he went running in the hills three days before the fight. That That's why he lost the fight. Not the fact that Bud was all snacked up and the other guy was drained in a variety of ways. That's not why. Why are you asking for the guy to get tested if you believe it's clean? Why are you pressing so hard to test them? Because you know he's not. Duh. I mean, come on. Am I saying anything that's not fucking obvious or logical at the very least? Reasonable? Give me something. Right? So what, what, what got promoted as a great 50-50 fight, fight for the ages, one of the biggest... It was all bullshit. Going into the fight and, and, and turn out to be so after the fight. And the fight wasn't all that big. It got hyped up a lot. And a lot of people got their hopes up. And it flopped. The fucking thing flopped. It didn't deliver. It didn't. It doesn't matter what you nut huggers, haters, hardcore, so-called hardcore people have to say. That you're not the ones who pay the bills. You weren't even at the fight. You probably streamed that shit. Casuals are the ones who pay for this shit. And a casual guy would look at Terrence Crawford and be like, well, well, who the fuck is this bum and why is he trying to punch me in my face? <sighs> and then the guy's never challenged himself. Now, look, I'm not blaming anybody. I'm just telling you he's never been challenged. That's all I'm saying, face value. The guy's never been challenged, period. It is what it is. How are you going to build a guy who doesn't challenge? He's never, who is never challenged in the ring. How are you going to build him up to be, to be great? All the greats were challenged. There was, there was, they had legitimate threats. They lost fights. Yes. Contrary to popular fucking belief, sometimes you got to lose to be popular. Because it's all about how you come back and persevere. And you're showing the people that you're giving them the best fights possible. You're challenging yourself to your limit. We got all these undefeated guys that don't fucking sell. And then you got Usyk or Inoue. Really pushing the boundaries, challenging themselves. That's why they're more popular than Terrence Crawford. Even though they don't, they don't even speak English. And Usyk makes up for that by being a character. And Inu is just a fucking badass. Takes on anybody. And, and because he is popular, he could draw, he could make these guys fight him. People want to fight him because they get paid. 
when you're fighting Crawford, you're not really getting paid. Maybe by now. Because he wanted all the money and you got fucking peanuts. That's a big part of it. And fighting once a year and then half the time it's bums. Who gives a shit? The guy's not marketable. He's not promotable because he's a dud. He's got a chip on his shoulder. He doesn't know how to market himself. It's it's very, very difficult to promote the guy. And ultimately, I wouldn't give a shit if it wasn't constantly being brought up that everybody is failing, just not Terrence Crawford. Stop lying. Stop fucking lying. Right? Bump for bump number one. Stop lying. There, there has to be a certain amount of real when it comes to somebody that people are, are going to take to. Everybody's going to take to. He has to be real in some se- sense, shape, or form. Okay? There can't be no illegal glove knockouts. Like, w- what? you just going to sweep that under the rug. How how do you think you could get away with that? And and casuals are just gonna be like, yeah, nobody cares, right? They'll look at that shit, some of them, and be like, what? Nah, this not real. This isn't real, right? This is what is this shit? And where are all of you, quote unquote, strict liability clowns? It ain't Crawford's fault. It ain't his fault. It's ever last fall. We gonna blame Osterin then? <laughs> Strict liability, remember? All of a sudden, them admitting that their gloves were busted in, in the locker room. His own team. That's somehow not his fault that he knocked the guy out with illegal gloves. And the commission just enabled it and along with the WBO, swept it under the rug like it wasn't no thing. Huh? How is Ryan versus Hania no contest and Crawford versus Avenisian? How is that okay? Strict liability, remember? That record's not real. The Terrence Crawford, he's not real. He's not a real one. How the fuck is hitting a guy in the thigh a TKO? How? Telling us that Spence Crawford is a great 50-50 fight and then it turns out to be another fucking mismatch. Broken jaw, bullet in the leg. I mean, do we have to keep recounting this shit? Low blow KO. Illegal gloves KO. Drained opponent after drained fucking opponent. Bringing guys... I I mean... Hello? Knockdowns getting waved off. As good as Terrence Crawford is, and let's keep it real, he's good. There's a whole bunch of fakery around this dude. He is a fraud in a sense. Of course he is. There should be at least a no contest on that record. There should be at least a knockdown on that record. And if we all kept it real about Terrence Crawford, he wouldn't even be top five pound for pound. There would be an investigation into his camp, into his gym, into into the, the gloves. There would be some court cases, Right? Hello? How about his connection with Daniel Kinahan? I mean, you know, what's going on there? The the guy's got like a $5 million bounty on his head issued by the U.S. government. 
and one of one of the men who has profited has no doubt collected fucking heroin money. Fucking Tyson Fury gets banned from the U.S. And Crawford's just, you know, he's treated like the president of the United States or something on his little parade. I mean, is, is everybody retarded? But yeah, 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 yeah. Come on over to the channel and like, those of you who never have anything positive to say, right? And and tell me how I'm hating. But you won't be able to tell me what it is that I'm saying that's incorrect. And why is that? Because I'm keeping it real and you motherfuckers ain't. And that's a big reason why Terrence Crawford doesn't fucking sell. Because not everybody has been demoralized and corrupted enough to accept bullshit. Not everybody. Sorry. Not enough people. And the guy's a fucking dud. Is is a lot of what he projects out there, right? How mad he is, how meek he is, how he's just slouched over and how whenever he's in the view of the public outside of that ring, he just he just wants to hide. That's what I get from him. He just wants to hide. He just wants to go home, put on his PJs. Oh, look, he's already wearing them. Take that pint of ice cream out of his freezer and, you know, I don't know, watch some fucking role fighter highlights as he's sitting there sulking. It's a whole big part of what he projects out in public. Do you think maybe some of that is shame? 